Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Khan here checking out an all new robotic drone called the V-Copter Falcon. Now this particular drone is unique mainly because of the fact that it has two propellers. Probably something we've never seen before, but I'm excited to go ahead and unbox it as well as try it out and kind of showcase it to you for today. Now this was sent over by Zero Zero Robotics, so if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So these here are the packages that they sent us. So they sent us the Falcon as well as an accessory package. It says a blast off controller. Cool. Uh, but before we go ahead and take a look at this, let's go look at our drone. All right, so this here is our packaging. Kind of shows you a little bit about what this robot drone is about. Kind of shows its wings kind of like doing one of these. <laughs> uh, and it says it's a V-shaped bicopter, tilt rotor controller. So it kind of rotates the, the, the fans. It's kind of neat. Uh, up to 50 minute flight time, so that's pretty good. Three axis gimbal, so it does have a good high quality 4K camera. And it has a foldable design. So let's open this up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Uh, we have our user manual, got this case, and underneath here, we have all our accessories. So it looks like we have our propellers. Uh, we have a little screwdriver with additional screws. Uh, we have a charging cable, or a connecting cable, I apologize. Uh, we have a charging cable. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> uh, and then we have a charging power station, which also has a USB port. That's kind of cool. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual drone. The container itself is actually a pretty interesting looking box. It's got like a styrofoam finish, which says V-Copter. And see what's inside here. Sweet. Look at that. Okay, so very important, like they've said it five times already, make sure you press these buttons down when you fold or unfold the arms tightly. So there you go, and there you go. It looks like a falcon. How cool. Uh, and then I think our camera is here. There you go. So there's our 4K camera with our three axis gimbal. Uh, looks like a variety of different sensors on this bad boy. This thing looks really sick. So I got these two looking like cameras. I'm not sure if they're sensors, but they're cameras. Uh, on the back here, we do have a camera pointing down. Uh, so yeah, a variety of different cameras and a lot of different sensors. This thing looks really cool. I've never seen a drone like that before, so that's really unique. Okay, we got our user manual, and then we have our controller unit. So I, I see that we have a phone spot here to mount on our phone to see a live output of what the robot uh, drone is seeing. Uh, we have our control unit to kind of move it about. We have a home button, we have a stop button, we have a video button, uh, photo button, uh, S and L, a power button, and then triggers on the back, and then these rotational triggers on the top. So overall, a really cool looking appearance. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and take this thing outside and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we have our drone, we got our landing gear, and it's on and connected to our phone. Just go ahead and place it down here. Now, it has to be in the correct area. Once it says you can take off, that means you're good to go. Simply hit the take off button, say take off now, and you can see it kind of doing its own thing. And here we go. Whoa. Now, you can rotate it using the left joystick here. You can rotate it left, you can rotate it right, and you can bring it up and then down. Now the back buttons here will allow you to switch between the GPS screen as well as the actual screen that it sees. Uh, and then the right joystick here will kind of move it uh, left and right. So you can right, left, uh, forward, and then back. So overall it seems pretty easy to use. Hey, that looks cool. Okay. 
Let's see how high we can go with this thing. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty quick. Uh, I'm already hearing some birds getting offended by this thing. <laughs> uh, we are pretty up there. Look at that. Look at this. Wow, well, there's our, that's us right there. So what, how high are we right now? Uh, 117 meters, 118 meters is the max height. We've reached the restricted flight at altitude. So it can go higher, but based on restrictions, that's as high as we can go. No. No? Memory's done. Let's see. This is coming down, so we get. Can... All right, talk about that. Talk All about right, that. so since I just actually just lost the uh, reception due to memory, I click return to home uh, and it's slowly coming back down, which is good. So in case if you do lose it, you can simply press the button and it'll come right back. And you can see it right there. So surprisingly, it's pretty quiet for a drone of its size. I thought it'd be a lot louder, especially for the fact that it's only got two motors on it right now. Alright, well kind of gives you an idea what that drone's about. Overall, it's really easy to use and actually looks really cool. Now, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.